Hello, this is Jesse Phillips with Waypoint Technology Group, here to bring you guys another tech tip this week. Um, today's tech tip will be about Trimble Business Center and Trimble RealWorks dongle licenses, um, how to use them, um, the ins and the outs of the license manager, and also um, applying product keys. So when I say dongle, like a HASP uh, hardware dongle license of Trimble Business Center and Trimble RealWorks, it'll probably look something similar to this. It might have even come in a Trimble yellow case, like you see the one below. As far as what we're going to cover today, um, first and foremost, uh, we're going to talk about a key ID versus a product key. So the terminology is a little bit confusing um, with Trimble, just because the word key is in both of these, but um, in simplest terms, a key ID is really a serial number, a unique serial number of your license um, that in most cases will not change, um, especially with a dongle license. Um, a product key, on the other hand, or a product code, is what is provided at certain times uh, during the ownership of this dongle if you wanted to do some type of upgrade to that license. And if you wanted to update the software maintenance or extend the software maintenance or add some type of module, this is done through a unique product key, which is different every time you receive one. Um, we're also going to talk about um, the license manager, um, some tips with using that, uh, just getting up and running with your dongle license and either software, um, how to apply a product key to your hardware dongle license. Um, traditionally, we can go the online route, but occasionally um, due to security restrictions or access to network or the internet, um, you, you may need to go the offline route. So we'll talk about both of those options. As far as what you'll need, um, you'll definitely need a laptop or a PC, a connection to the internet, um, admin privileges would be a good idea as well, and your TBC or Trimble RealWorks uh, dongle license. To get started, I'm going to plug in, and you can do the same, make sure your dongle is plugged into your PC or laptop. After that, you could open even uh, you could open either the Trimble Business Center or Trimble RealWorks software. Um, I'll go, go ahead and open uh, Trimble RealWorks. And when you open RealWorks, it'll automatically take you to the license manager for the software, which looks like this here. Um, this is where you can look at your key ID or your serial number of your license will be displayed, um, the version of RealWorks that you're running, and also your warranty expiration or your software maintenance um, and Trimble terminology. So even though this is a perpetual license of RealWorks, um, when you purchase a dongle, it comes with a year's worth of software maintenance. So during that year, you can always download and run the newest version of RealWorks. After that, there is a, a fee to keep that current from year to year that you can uh, purchase from us as your distributor. So normally though, um, if you're getting a new license, your warranty expiration would be, be about a year in the future. So you won't have to worry about that. And under these features, it would list as um, active or enabled and show you what you are licensed for. Um, just one little tip is you want to make sure if it doesn't default to the correct license type, because there are different ways to license this software, just make sure if you're using a dongle, it's set to either perpetual or automatic, or ideally a perpetual hardware for a hardware dongle. Perpetual software you could use if you were provided a demo code of the software. Uh, perpetual network would be if you're using a network license, which I'm going to go over in an, another video. And subscription would be if you had a subscription license, obviously, to Trimble RealWorks. But in this scenario, we're just working with a dongle, so you may need to change that and uh, hit apply, and so this would update. But normally, if your license is all up to date and not expired, um, you should be able to click OK, and I'll run the software. In this scenario, though, our software maintenance is expired, our warranty expiration, we were provided a product key or a product code to update that. That would look something like this. You would have received an email for either Trimble Business Center or Trimble RealWorks saying, giving you a product key for your key ID and then it would list your serial number and then it would give you a product key to apply listing um, what's provided in that key there. So back to the license manager. Um, to apply this, the key that we were provided to this key ID, um, you'd want to hit upgrade. Make sure your HASP dongle is selected with a little dongle symbol next to it. Make sure the key ID matches what was provided in the email. And then you'd want to paste your unique 19-digit code in this box here and hit upgrade. 
That will provide any upgrade that you purchase from Trimble, including software maintenance. And as long as you have a connection to the internet, um, you should be good to go there and be able to run the most recent version of the software. Occasionally, this is uh, considered the online route, so occasionally this may not work or it may throw an error. You may have to go the offline route if you're, uh, depending on your connection to the internet or your network security or firewall, antivirus, that sort of thing. You may need to go the offline route. Um, to do that, within the license manager, you'd want to go to the Sentinel Admin Control Center link. Here you can view your key ID, your HASP dongle, and some details about that. Um, we're not going to go into the, all the details of the Sentinel Admin Control Center, but um, just for today's tech tip, to go the offline route, you need to provide us uh, a C2V file in order to get um, the upgrade processed. So next to your key ID or serial number, all the way to the right, there should be a C2V or Create C2V button. If you click that um, to your downloads, it'll go. Uh, it'll produce a C2V file and you could forward that to us at Tech Support. After I uh, communicate, or after we communicate with Trimble, um, we'll be provided a V2C file that you can apply on your end. So to apply that, once I send that to you, you go to Update and Attach on the left here, and you could navigate to where that file is, select it, and then hit Apply. And that's the, the offline route to process an update um, via a product key. Um, occasionally, if this uh, C2V button doesn't appear next to your key ID line, uh, you may have to go to Configuration, and all the way to the bottom there's this Generate C2V file for HASP key option that may not be enabled, so you may need to hit Enable and hit Submit. And then when you go back to Sentinel Keys, you should see the Get C2V button enabled. So that would be the offline route for um, if you can't apply a product key via the online activation. So that's all I had to share with you guys today. Just a, a quick tech tip on dongle licenses for Trimble Business Center and Trimble RealWorks. How to apply a product key or code. Um, if you have any um, questions or issues, feel free to reach out to our help portal waypointtech.freshtest.com or, or, or via email tech support at waypointtech.com. Please check out our YouTube channel. Once again, this is Jesse Phillips of Waypoint Technology Group. We are a authorized Trimble mapping and geospatial dealer in, in the Northeast United States. Our territory is in New York, New Jersey, and all of New England. Thanks a lot and have a good day.